When I was 11, I was snooping around my parents' room and found baby teeth while being constantly teased in school, confidently defending that Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus were real. I sat my mom down and demanded for the truth. I couldn't believe it. With all serious, I asked, Mom, how are we ever going to tell Kayla? How could my family, my big sister, keep this secret from me for all these years? But then I learned about magic and about love and about loyalty. The magic behind the magic isn't the illusion, it's that someone cared enough to create the illusion for you. Keith, we'll do the same for you. She'll work just as hard in your relationship as she does in her career and in her role as family and as a friend. If there's anything that will bring you happiness, she will work for it tirelessly with all her love and all her loyalty until ultimately she gets it, just like magic. And I gotta tell everybody in this room, Kayla's first date and prom was with this young man right here. So Keith, you've been a part of our family for now, for those, I don't know, over 15 years. Denise said, I always thought of you as our son. I didn't lose a daughter today, I gained a son. I know there will always be times, moments of joy and excitement, then turn to moments of frustration. This is called life. Live it, love it, do it together forever and ever. I remember when I first met Keith. <laughs> He flipped his skater boy hair, and I thought, what a punk. Kayla's so out of his league. Little did I know that Keith would make my sister the happiest girl in the world. He became a part of our family, a brother to me, and a son to my parents. After a decade of love and loss, Kayla and Keith reconnected. The sequel to their story began. We all knew that they were each other's first love, and indefinitely each other's last. You two are the epitome of true love, living proof of what's meant to be will always find its way. With great honor, I would like to start by saying we are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes to the words which shall join Kayla and Keith in marriage. I spent most of my life right beside my big cousin Kayla, so when I was asked to officiate her wedding, it couldn't have felt more natural for me to be beside her on her big day. I watched you two grow from young sweethearts to now young adults ready to make promises to each other through your marriage vows. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created where the little things you do for one another are the big things. It is not only marrying the right partner, but also being the right partner. I, Keith, stand here today to take you, Kayla, to be my wife, best friend, and lifelong partner in marriage. Keith. 15 years ago, you captured my heart and never let it go. Sometimes I have to catch my breath just to remind myself that this is really happening. I'm finally married. <laughs> I'm finally marrying my one true love in life. Some things are meant to be and we're one of them. Remembering back to the first time we met, I was immediately interested in taking you on a date so I can get to know you. Fate is a funny thing, and somehow I always knew we'd end up here together in this moment. In 50 years, and see how far we've come is almost overwhelming to think of, but there's no doubt in my mind that you're the person I went with me step by step for the rest of our lives. Our story isn't just special, it's truly the best rom-com I've ever seen unfold, <laughs> and the greatest love story to be a part of. You have far exceeded any type of expectation I dreamed my husband would be, and I really do look forward to our children saying the same thing about you one day. With you as my wife, I'm certain that we can make all our hopes and dreams a reality. We complement each other so beautifully, and together we can face anything. From this moment on, with you by my side, I promise to always live by the vows I make here today. Today I join my life with yours, not only as your wife, but your best friend, your lover, and confidant. With every word I say today, it is a promise that I intend to keep. 
I promise to do everything in my power to keep you happy, to always put you first, your needs before my own, support you when you need it, and push you towards your dreams and aspirations. I promise to be a true and faithful wife, to love, respect, and be honest with you always. I promise to love you in good times and bad, with all that I have to give, completely and forever. From this moment forward, I promise you will never have to face the world alone, Kayla. I love you with everything that I am, everything I've been, and everything I hope to be. I love you. I promise to always love you more and more every day, until that do us part. I love you with my past. I love you for my future. And I love you forever. You may kiss your bride. Please join me in congratulating Mr. and Mrs. Houghton. If we could all raise a glass. As you enter the next chapter of your life, may the future bring Keith and Kayla much happiness and wisdom. Please join me. Congratulate Keith and Kayla on the bright future and the long life together. Cheers. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. May the road be long and the party never end. Here's to yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Be happy, healthy, strong, most of all good. Kayla and Keith.